Welcome to another War Game Review from theplayersaid.com. I'm Grant. And I'm Alexander. Tonight, as our families gathered together on a Saturday evening, we had about an hour and we decided to pick out a game that we have not yet played. Uh, we, received, we received this game from Victory Point Games. It is the Alamo Remembered. It is a one to two player war game. And you were saying uh, earlier that this is a, what type of a war game? This is, and I never thought I would ever say this, <laughs> A filler war game. A filler? Yeah. Like, a filler war game. There are plenty of filler games out there. This is a filler war game. We played this. We had an hour to play, and this took ten minutes. We played it three and times. It, and it took ten minutes to learn. If yep, that. If that. The, the rules are very, very um, quick and easy. Yeah, there's twelve pages in the rule book, eight of which are actual rules for the game. That's a bit of a stretch, even there, because there's a contents page. Right. So it's very quick to learn. Yep. Like you, you play through the rule book for the first turn, and after that, you can do it all yourself. Yeah, we figured it out very easily. It's advertised as a 30 minute game. I would guess this would be a 30 minute game if you made it through all three rounds. We only ever made it through one round because one, I didn't know how to place my units and cannons, and we're trying to learn the strategies and. The Mexicans just kind of stormed the wall every time in the first round and, and destroyed me. So, But what this game is, is the Texians have a certain amount of units. They have some dummy counters. They have some more powerful cannon counters. And then one hero, led, they're led by Davy Crockett. And what they do is they have six sections of the wall that have a combat value on them, or a breach value, yeah. I think it's called. And you have to line your forces up, the Texians, hidden, so the Mexicans don't know where you believe they're going to attempt to attack. So you line those up, then the Mexicans come in, yeah. line their forces up. Also, and everything is done blind, like blind, yes, from the other player. So the Mexicans, they, the Mexicans have a stronger unit composition, but can put fewer of them together. I think the Mexi the, the Texians can stack six. six units, and the Mexicans only ever stack four initially, at least. And so, you know, you're stacking weaker stacks, but over the course of three rounds, you'll inflict so many losses on, on yeah. the Texians that, you know, the, the Texians will crumble, the Alamo will fall. There's, it's just a matter of when. Yeah, it's just a matter of when. And even if the Texians, after three rounds, valiantly still survive, like, the Mexicans will, will come in, you'll do a last stand. They'll just have died more gloriously in right. battle. right. I don't think it's possible for the Texians. Like the rules are just like everyone dies. Yeah, it's and it's, then you score victory points based on how many of the Mexicans the Texians were able to kill. Right, it's a lot of X's. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's it's very brutal. So, so you go through a couple of rounds. The first round is where the Texi Texians cannons fire. They simply remove a number of units blindly from the Mexican stacks based on the number of power or attack points that their cannon have. So I was typically removing one to two units from his stacks of somewhere between two to four. Yeah. Or, give yeah. or take. Um, then you go to a rifle fire. So you turn over your units that are riflemen or heroes. You, you total up their combat value and you attack again, removing units. And then comes the big shebang. If the Mexicans have a number of battle points that equal these breach values on the wall sections, they're going to kind of line up and then yeah. run in and, and just overrun They break in and everything. the game stops and then you do a last stand, which is just everyone kills each other, basically. Yeah, very um, simple. Yeah, and then, and then the game's over and you count victory points and yeah. the victory points are counted just for the Mexican and it's how many surviving units they have on, on the board. board and there's points based on which round they were able to breach. Right. So you breach early in round one, you get six points. And you breach in round two, you get three, three points, and then that, that uh, goes down. Yeah, I think in round three is something, it's one. much, much less. Yeah. It's, yeah. One or two. Yeah, one or two. If no breach is achieved, then it's minus two victory points. Oh, okay. If, if they have to go right. all the way to, to the end of turn three. So, like Alexander said earlier, this really isn't a, a game where the Texians are going to win. It's a matter of did they fight valiantly enough? To eliminate enough units and stand as long as they could and make the Mex Mexican score like three or four at the end, which would, at that point, a three or four was a... Uh, a three or four put, I mean, that's uh, like a 
pyrrhic victory or a humiliating victory. Right. There's so, so they won, many soldiers but, yeah. died trying that to take Santa that down. humiliated. Yeah. So it, it's a fun little game, a filler war game. One of the things I, I really liked, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that, I liked it, but it never worked for me. When you go to the last stand, you're going to pull up your Jim Bowie counter, and because he's sick with illness, and you're going to take him like a coin, and you're going to flip him. Oh, look, four times in a row now he hasn't come to my aid. Let's see if he's going to come up with for a fifth time. Oh, he finally showed up. Um, that was interesting. Yeah. I think that's kind of a neat little mechanic. Kind of funsy, not not really. And this game is this game is that right? It, there's yeah. some, there's some kind of bluffing. There's some thinking about where you put everything, but yeah. it's just you know it's, it's just huge slaughter, and then it's over. And it's, yeah. How well did I do? Now I spend 15, 20 minutes playing this thing at the most, right. and it's fun. This is a fun little game. It reminds me, to an extent, of the States of Siege game in that it's just like constant swamping. But the mechanics are very different. Everything very different. It's much easier. Yeah, this is Even very, very simple. And, and there's no dice in this game other than when you play it solo. When you play it solo, you're going to roll dice to place yeah. your Mexican reinforcements, reinforcements as they come in. One thing that I did like, uh, uh, another thing that I like, not one thing, I already said one thing. You have these dummy counters, these zero uh, point counters. And what I was trying to do was place these because you just don't have a lot of units so you're trying to place these hidden around the board so that the attacking Mexican forces think, oh, he has two or three units there. And I did a much better job yes. in the third game of that. I think these two sides had no points, no strength points. You were unable to breach the wall. And I didn't have to waste yeah. my forces on those areas. So I, I think I did better it on was that a, respect. It was like bluff in the weaker places to make your weak places strong. And that was right. cool. Because right. then I was like, well, let's attack over here instead. And then you ended up this last game attacking kind of the main gate, which is a four. And you got like six units or five well, units I, in. I had just four at the end, which is right. enough to get in. Enough to get, yeah. So very, very neat elements. There's a lot of neat little things. But once again, this is not a deep, strategic uh, thinky game. It's very, very quick. W what did you like? Alexander? I like uh, the fact that we played this over and over and over again. Because like any good bluffing game, which there is some of that, mm -hmm. you have a great meta game. Like, oh, he did this thing last time, so this time we're going to do something different. Or, you know, he mm -hmm. employed this tactic, and now, and now, now I'm trying to, I'm double thinking of is he going to do What's that he again? Doing? Is he going to yeah. do something different? And we talk a lot about that in these kind of games because they, uh, we say we start to understand each other's tendencies. I'm aggressive. You're a little. You, you're a little more defensive. So we, over the years, we've we've kind of said, oh, Alexander's going to lie here. He's going to bluff, yeah. or Grant's going to lie, but it's really a, 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 a lie. Yeah. You, you know, he's going to attempt to lie, but it's really a lie. So learning each other's tendencies is kind of neat. A lot of neat little bluffing and, and some hidden elements. I really liked that. The only thing I didn't like about the game is. Once again, we've talked about this a lot. Games where you have no option of really changing history is always tough for me to, 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 to take. I want to try to win this. But you win it only by not losing as badly you, yeah, you historically win as by, they did. by killing more of Santa right, and his soldiers. Right. So that's losing, but not losing quite as bad historically. Yeah, you don't survive. So that's kind of cool. Out. You're still that's surrounded cool. by 2,700 Mexican <laughs> soldiers and like it's over. Yeah, very little hope. But uh, there are also some variants we didn't really use. They're more for the solo game. There's something with the weather, either a cloudy night or a bright night. Uh, and there's also whether sentries are awake or asleep. And there's a little, and there's a Texian relief column yeah. to get more units and stuff. So I'm going to try this solo, but this is our first thoughts after a two player play. So I, I think overall, did you like the game? Yeah, it was a neat, this yeah. was a neat little filler war game. Again, yep. what a unique sentence to have ever said. Yep. Filler War game, I really liked. And we also love any type of hidden information. We like block games yeah. a lot. Hidden information, Fog of War, where I don't know what you are doing. Traditional Hex Encounter games, you line them up and I can see, oh, you have five, five strength there. So really liked that element about this game. I would pick this up. This is a fun 15 to 20 minute game, a war game filler. Probably something you'll and, never hear again. And that non-war gamers would easily play this. As oh, th well. this is... I, I don't really feel like it's a war game. I feel like it's more a... Uh, a game of putting pieces around the board and 
you're not worrying about a lot of movement yeah. rules and yeah, everything. Like, so it, it's anyone different. can play this. This yep. is not a complex game. So go out, uh, pick it up. I think it's a good game and, and enjoy it. So thanks for watching. If you want uh, to learn more about this game or others, check out our blog, theplayersaid.com. Thank you.